is Invincible Shield, the best Judas Priest album since Painkiller. This is the Rock and Roll of the Man. My name is Sean Morrison. A lot of fans do love the 1990 release Painkiller, which of course um f featured um Rob Halford as in his last album of Judas Priest before he left the band for a good 14 years or so. But you know, with good songs on Painkiller, so there's one shot at Glory, that was my favorite song off the album. The, the, the songs best known, which of course were Touch of Evil and The Touch of Painkiller, not my two favorite pre songs, but still, fans loved this album. Yes, there are some good songs for Painkiller, but you know, throughout the years, Halford returned to Priest, and you know, they did good on each of the records. The, the, um, the Firepower album had some good songs on it. You, see, you can see my reviews on. On that, if I have any up there, I might, oh, actually my old channel might have had them, but you know, songs such as Lightning Strikes is a good fucking song. I can sit here and talk about a lot of good stuff Priest has recorded over the years, but I'm sorry, Invincible Shield has to be one of the best Priest albums in God knows fucking how long. I put it up there, even with Turbo's 1986 Turbo record. Friends, if you're not subscribed to the show, Mercy. You need the channel, please do so. Everyone else has to subscribe. We thank you much for the continued love, honor, and support. It is greatly appreciated. Nothing wrong with the Invincible Shield album from Judas Priest whatsoever. Definitely is going to be a classic in another 10, 5, 10, 20 years from now. Definitely. So, friends, do you think that Invincible Shield from Judas Priest is their best album since Painkiller? Your thoughts. Shame? Shame? Shame.